Hello and welcome to the Kanawha Valley Hustlers. I'm here with Aaron today and we are at Bar 101 for Up Next Charlie West. Aaron, tell me a little bit about what's happening here tonight. Well, like we have every month, it's our first Tuesday event, which is our Young Professionals Group Up Next Charlie West networking event. And everybody just comes and mingles and has a good time and gets to know one another. And it's so much fun. We really enjoy it. And we are outside right now because it is incredibly loud inside and there's no way that we would be able to record it, right? Absolutely. That's the way we like it. And, um, you know, we're showcasing how dark it gets so early these days. Thank you, Daylight Savings Time. <laughs> That's exactly right. So, Aaron, I'm going to ask you a question. If HR came to you and they said, we're going to get rid of all of the holidays, we just want one that represents our company, one holiday, and it's your job to invent the holiday, what holiday would you create? Would we create? New holiday, just for your company. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um... I'm going to go with uh, Nice Person Appreciation Day because we work with such great people over at the Charleston Area Alliance. I'm very lucky to be over there and every single person that I've worked with over there has been just genuinely so nice. So it would be National Nice People's Day. National Nice People's Day. Everybody's invited as long as you're nice, right? Exactly. All right. Thanks, Aaron. All right, Mike, so we are in the holiday season, and let's say HR came to you and said that they're scrubbing all the holidays. They just want one new holiday to represent the corporate environment. What holiday would you create? Oh, boy, that's a tough question. Well, I'm going to still have to go with the Veterans Day. Um, Veterans Day okay, okay, because I'm a veteran, and I think that that's probably the most important holiday to me personally. So uh, definitely have to go with the Veterans Day. But if it wasn't Vel at Veterans Day, I'd probably have to say like Elf Day, you know, because he definitely like elves. What would what, what, what you do on Elf Day? Uh, you'd dress like an elf, you'd act crazy, you know, you'd uh, decorate things, um, you know, you'd decorate Christmas trees, you'd yell Santa Claus. Would you have to make shoes at night when nobody absolutely, was around? Absolutely, absolutely, and presents and gifts. You gotta make gifts, a lot of slamming, a lot of singing, a lot of whistling, whistle while you work. Yeah. Perfect. National Elf Day, there it is, coming soon. Thank you. All right, EJ, so they decide that they want to completely scrap all of the holiday celebrations and just do one holiday celebration that represents your organization and your task with creating the new holiday. What would you come up with? I would come up with New Year's Eve, but make New Year's Eve even bigger than what people traditionally celebrate it as and make it a more immersive experience to where you're going to have fire breathers, you're going to have bands, you're going to have DJs, you're going to have everything but DJ EJ there. It's going to be everything but me, but we're all going to celebrate at the same time as a community. That's my plan. Ah, so is this still going to be on New Year's Eve or is this going to be like all month long? What if we had more than one New Year's Eve? New Year's Eve, whoever said it has to be only on New Year's Eve. What if we celebrated New Year's Eve on semi-annual New Year's Eve, biannual New Year's Eve, monthly New Year's Eve. Who said it has to be only one time a year? Yeah, that's not written anywhere. It's not. Change the game. Let's do it. All right, Hunter, it is the holiday season, and let's say we had to go away, We let's say we had to do away with all of the holiday celebrations, and we had to have just one holiday to represent who you are. What holiday would you invent? Um, who am I for a holiday? That's a good question. I'd say something similar to New Year's, rebirth kind of, something along that line. Um, new ideas, new goals, development, something like that. What would you call your new holiday? Um, I have no idea. Maybe something along the lines of new creation, new beginnings. And what, what, kind, of, uh, what kind of events would you have at, at your new creation celebration? Oh, fun. Um, anything that involves development so how can i be the best version of myself in a game a challenge um courses maybe maybe something along the lines of a challenge along a month or a couple couple months quarters you know biennially um something that you can check up on yourself and improve know where you've gone where you've been how you can do better in the future uh, and take a moment to as well appreciate how far you've come from where you've been awesome thanks buddy thank you all right that was great all right, Elijah, well, let's say we had to do away with all of the holidays and you were tasked with creating a new holiday. What holiday would you create? I would create Don't Care Day. What would you do on Don't Care Day? Everyone would go around and just not care what people think and do what they want to do. Now, what happens when somebody does something that they want to do that isn't what you want them to do? 
they shouldn't care. All right. Is there any, are there any traditions that you would do regularly on Don't Care Day? Do whatever you want and don't care what people think. That's all we're going to do. That sounds like a pretty good day. I, th I like it. I like it. Thanks a lot, buddy. Thank you. Okay, Dan, so now that we're in the holiday season, mm -hmm. what if HR came to you and they said, we're doing away with all holidays. We just need one holiday that represents our organization and you get to create it. What would you come up with? <sighs> what would I come up with to our organization? I mean, being a teacher, I mean, we can't go, we can't do away with summer holiday for sure, right? I mean, that's, that's, that's the only reason why I'm actually a teacher, right? But man, uh, that's gonna be, that's a tough one because being Catholic school and, and yeah, uh, Christmas is kind of baked into the whole Catholic it, thing, it isn't it? It is, it is. They actually give us 18 days this year too, right? Um, but uh, if I had to create a holiday, create something brand new, it had to be something brand new. Um, it's gonna have to be for some type of sports season. It's gonna have to be like being Charleston Catholic in our school. I'm gonna have to go with something during the soccer season, right? You know, when we come down to the, you know, every year we tend to make it to the uh, the playoffs, make it to the, uh, you know, the state playoffs because we don't have a football team, right? right? So I would have to say something that actually around this time, you know, fall is is coming in, and uh, I would say that that would be it. So we would come up with a with a soccer season, a national so a, a company wide soccer season that everybody gets to participate in. Yeah, so that is correct. And what kind of uh, what kind of traditions would you have involved in this traditions? soccer season? I'm gonna have to say uh, we'd have to well, obviously, you know, supporting your team, supporting the school, and uh, wearing the colors, and uh, and uh, yeah, allowing everyone to be able to go to the games and not have to take off from work to do so, right? Okay, because so you get off you get off of work oh, for yeah, every game, right? You have right? to get off the work, yeah. Okay, all right, perfect. Thank you so much. Cheers. Cheers. All right, William, so it is the holiday season. I want you to imagine that HR comes to you and they say, we're getting rid of all of our holiday celebrations and we're just going to have one holiday event that represents the organization and you get to create it. What holiday would you invent? William J. Day. <laughs> and what would you do on William J. Day? We'd have a big sale. <laughs> what kind what kind of celebrations would you do? Would you have a special cake? Would you have decorations? How, how, what would it be? I think I'd probably have all the other employees doing a bunch of silly antics to just basically be total goofballs. I think that'd be the fun thing. So, so the William J. Day would just be being as goofy as possible. How's that different than any other day? Well, I like to have fun. Doesn't mean that everybody else likes to have gotcha, fun. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So, William J. Day is all about having fun. Absolutely. All right, Alina, we are here in the midst of the holiday season, and I want you to imagine that HR comes to you and they say, we're getting rid of all of our holidays. We just want one holiday that represents our organization, and you get to create it. What holiday would you invent? Invent? Invent, totally from scratch. From scratch? Oh, my gosh. Oh man, um, I feel like International Women's Day would really represent my organization, so I don't know how to create something from scratch. So how would you, in, in your version of International Women's Day, would you have like a special cake or special decorations or what kind of traditions would you have? I think a tradition for International Women's Day that I would like to see is people going up to their role models who are women and telling them thank you I've looked up to you or just going to special women in your life and telling them how appreciative you are of them. That's so great so I think that would be a great we should make that into an actual tradition I think. I think so too I think that would be lovely. <laughs> Great, thank you so much. Of course. <laughs> All right, Brittany, we are now into the holiday season. I want you to imagine that HR comes to you and they say, we're getting rid of all the holidays. We just need one holiday that really represents our organization and you get to create it. What holiday would you invent? Um, for my organization, I would probably invent um, an appreciation day because I feel like my organization embodies appreciation both for their employees and for their customers. We really value um, the people we serve both internally and externally, so I think appreciation day would be great.
And what kind of traditions would you have on your appreciation day? Would you have a special cake, special decorations? Would you dress up silly? What would you do? Um, definitely a nice big feast. Like we're having a potluck. Everybody's bringing their favorite food because everybody loves to eat. Oh, and so you're going to keep it down home style then? Oh yeah, definitely. Because that's what we're all about is our communities and down home. And what would I come up with if I had to create a new holiday? I would create the anti-hustle day because even the Kanawha Valley hustler needs a break every now and then and I want to encourage you to make sure you don't get burned out this holiday season take yourself a break relax don't worry all that work will be there for you tomorrow until next time remember this is Joe Justice the Kanawha Valley hustler reminding you to hustle hard hustle smart and hustle with a smile